I've been drinking no alcohol. <laughs> that is it. I've been biting it. Guys, I am a chuff. No, honestly, that is insane. They retail for like 100 oh, and something. Thank you. Stop your pregnancy alone. I can't even tell you when the last time I vlogged was. My camera died and I've just been doing moving vlogs on TikTok. Also, ignore the, the makeup on my coat. I need to get that off. I have been doing moving vlogs on TikTok, so if you haven't seen those, definitely go check them out. I feel like they're kind of like a snappy version of this. Definitely feeling in a lot better sort of frame of mind, headspace. I will show you guys a bit of progress when I get back. Someone took my bed. <laughs> um, I sold it for super, super cheap on Facebook Marketplace. I just wanted to get rid. It was taking up so much space in my room. I'll fill you guys in properly. Me and Els are off to Ikea, which is kind of like, I, I'm quite excited. Like, kind of reminds me of last year and we're just gonna have a nice time. We're not in a rush to do anything. I've been working this morning. I was just coming back, he just dropped some stuff into the house, but he won't want to be on camera. They might, I don't know, it depends. Hello? 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 They have like put out the recycling. Yeah. Did they do that before we left? When I came up from work, it was like that. Oh, I didn't notice that as I walked out. Hello? Hello? What's back here? Look at my face. Mm -hmm. Maybe get some meatballs. Gonna have a good old time. Ah. I don't even know where we are in this vlog. I just said um, the TikToks are a bit more up to date at the moment. Look at this. This is really cool. Being really productive as per. <laughs> Pop there. I've been drinking no alcohol. Now would you take on me? And would you notice me? <laughs> Ready, three, two, one. We're going one after the other. Yeah. <laughs> We did it guys, the hot dog was just a starter. And that we've got main and dessert. We've, we've had a whole three the way over so we've had a whole three course meal. Um but delicious. We have actually been here for hours. But I feel like it's been pretty successful. We just got quite boring bits to be honest, didn't we? Nothing to really show. Nothing to really show. Like your vodka with a little touch of lime. You should probably take your heels off. You've been running through my mind. I don't know if this is a good idea to do them both in one day, but we are by our old flat, and this is the best B&M. Sorry, I've got a receipt on. What receipt are you? Whose receipt is it? Being cute. Being cute. Yours. I have a new fridge. It's bigger than I thought. Well, I don't think it is because it says 55 centimeters. Oh, uh, it it's deceiving with bucks. Happy birthday. <laughs> no, it is big. <laughs> oh. It's big. Is Elliot gone? <laughs> Yeah, I think he's at Oh, and he's gone home. No. Oh! Oh! oh it's like Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Run away up again! Let me see inside you! Come, come. 
car. We're gonna break it. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. This is such good news. <laughs> Lucy, come and look at um, Guys, our wildest dreams. Our wildest dreams. Right, guys, my dad is here today. He just helped me put those blinds up. Which I think they look pretty good. But, we're go you okay? Yep. <laughs> we're going to get rid of these blue curtains ASAP. Okay, so the blue curtains are no more. I think they look really nice. I want to get some white curtains as well. Some white like long ones and then next job is a new rail for my coats i'm i think after today things will start to feel a lot more together even taking the blue off the windowsill has already made a difference got some shelves to put up and yeah so this is how things are looking i got this lamp from b&m for 15 pounds but i don't I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, this is the current situ. I'll be back for more updates. I was about to say we are wisdom three, but I'm not doing anything at all. So one of these shelves are up, and then the second one is going here by where my little sink area is. Um, I think these are really cheap from Ikea, but they're nice to have if you don't have much space on like the other side of your bed to like put some bits on. My brother has one in his room, it looks really good. So we're just gonna put one on. Bye. Okay, so update. I don't know when it was that I last spoke to you. I think it might have been Friday when my dad was here doing some little jobs. I went back to Bristol this weekend with my dad. Just got back and I'm so determined to get most things finished today. So I'll give you guys a little update. So it just seems to be like getting less and then getting more and then it goes to less and goes to more. But today I really want to tackle the main bulk of it. So the updates, I have moved this rail to go here, which does fit perfectly, but my bag stand was there. I've put it there for now. We can always move it. And then I've just put these drawers here and these drawers here. I don't love them next to each other purely because this one has lost the wood, if you guys can see. So they don't like match. If they had the wood, they would kind of be fine. I just think I need to get everything away. I've just ordered an ottoman for the end of my bed to put more stuff in just for more storage. And I just need to put things away so I can see where we are. Um, but I picked up this lamp from Wilco. This one was reduced from 40 pounds to 20. £20. Um, I'm going to pop that by my bedside table. I did get this one from B&M, which matches my lampshade, but I don't know if I'm going to keep the lampshade over time. So, yeah, that is that. Although I do think that is a lovely, lovely lamp. That was reduced to £15, but I don't know if the, it, I don't know if it's the vibe I want to go for in here. A couple more things. I got some face flannels and also a big bath sheet, both from B&M. I then picked up a bath mat and then more boring things like a little bin a toilet brush and yeah i got some white flowy curtains as well from wilco and i guess i could put those up when everything is kind of finished today to make a good start and then hopefully go out for a roast dinner <laughs> Woo. really super quick just got back from work but i've got a I've got a thing, I've got some things to show you. Yesterday, I picked up this rug. It's not very big, but it's bigger than the ones that they have in Ikea. From Aldi, would you believe it? It was like 14 pounds and I'm planning on Ugh, everything is a mess again. It got like, it got so much better and then now it's a mess, but it's fine. Um, that's I want to put the rug by like my mirror. And then this arrived, which is what I wanted to show you really. And I got an ottoman for the bottom of my bed. It's not like a really expensive one, but I'm gonna get it out of the package and I will show you. has a tiny, tiny mark on it. And open the base. Oh, cute. What? Why would you write on it? The other side is fine. Oh my gosh. Okay. Guys, I am chuffed. I'm so chuffed. This would look so much better if my bed was made. <gasps> 
forgive me, I started work at 7am, so it was a quick rush at the door this morning and I was just bouncing my camera on there. But never mind, look at this. It was about £30. I will try and link it down below. But this is white and my bed is cream. But I don't think that really matters at all. I don't know if you guys can see, like, my bed is cream and this is white. But you can sit on it, like, it's actually... It's really sturdy. You can sit on it and then obviously put your stuff in it. Oh my gosh. And I have a small double bed for like size reference. I'm so happy okay, with that. So today is the day where I get my room in good order. Like I come in and I feel relaxed and just like not stressed by what I see. So it looks bad because my bed's up, but we really are so close to getting somewhere my next job is what i've been putting off is getting all of my it's, it's going to take me like five minutes well maybe not 10 minutes i've just been putting it off is getting all my coats out of here and putting them on here i think i've been putting them off because the thought of them being in here now they're all going to be creased and stuff like that and uh, i also picked up this rug from aldi it's such a rogue find in aldi and i think it looks a bit weird there i don't know if i'm loving it <laughs> there um I don't really know if there's like a thing with the rugs, like the best p place to put a rug. I will figure that out and yeah, I think let's do these coats. You don't love me no more. Watch me walk out the front door. I don't really know where to go from here. I think I might just disappear. Wait, Tonight. I'll just explain what we're about to do here. <laughs> um, Side note, <coughs> I've just put up one of these curtains and I'm really pleased about it. I'm about to put the other one up. They were like five pounds from Wilco. They were very, very cheap. Ma maybe seven. Yeah, each. So, really pleased about that. I last left you with the position of my rug, asking if there were rules about rug placement. And Meg says, yes, there is. The basic rules of rug placement, to my awareness in feng shui, which I'm not an expert in, um, but basically a rug denotes an area of the room so anything that is touching the rug is part of their zone so like you okay. have created a zone yeah. of the mirror <laughs> but because it's an, such an irregular rug it's like the, you've centred this so like you've made a zone out of like the mirror and the radiator the ottoman and the hat stand <laughs> which is a, such a rogue that's why it feels rogue uh, because it's pulling things together that are not relevant Sure. And then it's like, by, yeah, like if you put it like... So I could put it like here. You could put it... I there. actually want a bigger one to go there. It would but... be nice to have a bigger one. But like anything <clears> that you have on the rug will feel part of something and anything off it won't. So like okay. if you want to have like a rug with your bed, I would do like a square rug under the bed. If that's I'm... what, that was my vision. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's, right. that's pending. I feel like if it's right, like if the energy feels right, that's the kind of point of function. And if you want to have like a getting ready zone, you could have like a half moon with those things on it, or like a circle with mm, those things on it. Okay. Pull it all in. Oh, I'm with you. And you can have both of those. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> also, this is Meg's three tiered heated error that was picked up on fa by on Facebook Marketplace. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, Marketplace. I'm um, now for 25 goddamn pounds. No, honestly, that is insane. They retail for like 100 oh, and something. 150 pounds. Thank you. Thank cool. You. I'm going to put up the other curtain now. It's these plain voile. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I feel it's not voile. <laughs> I don't think it's voile. Voile. Only one of your followers has got a French understanding of that word. Yeah, let us know. And if anybody <laughs> knows more about feng shui. A rug placement. Yeah, exactly. That would also be really I'm helpful. I'm just the most Asian here. Okay. Cool, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>